What's going on, everyone? It's Marcellus back with another video. We got to talk about Baby Doge. We're going to go over some technicals here with Baby Doge and for Bitcoin. So definitely stick around to the end of the video. Go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. Leave a comment in the comment section and let's get straight to it. So let's talk about Baby Doge first and then we'll talk about some Bitcoin. So as you can see here with Baby, Co Baby Doge, we actually reached the 1000 area, the 10 flat area like a while ago. That was the 19th of September. A few days ago, a while ago, whatever. But anyways, now what you're seeing here for Baby Doge, we're kind of hitting a little bit of a resistance here. So that is around the 1150 area. So Baby Doge is kind of hitting the resistance at 1150. And soon we should have enough momentum to build us back up to about 1250. But remember what I said in my previous video. I think that there's going to be a false breakout here. We may actually continue to pump here and we might actually pull back down. And the only thing that's going to stop us from pulling back down like that is the major news that we had that we actually presented a couple days ago. The official launch date of the Baby Doge, um, the Baby Doge mainnet is actually going to be coming out very soon, which is going to be inside two weeks on October 5th. And I think this is going to offset the downside pressure that we might have. So we actually may have the ability to pump past 1250 with here, here with the Baby Doge. So let's kind of talk about what we had going on earlier, like coming into today. So we bottomed out all the way down here about... 1029 and then you see we almost immediately went up all the way up here then we did a little bit of a pullback but i think we're about to continue to pump from here so i'm expecting baby doge to hit this 1250 area pretty soon and when we do it's going to be nice and yeah 1250 is definitely going to come pretty soon now it could stop before 1250 somewhere around here around 12 20 somewhere around there and then do a little bit of a pullback but ultimately i think we have enough momentum to continue to pump past that area also, the 24-hour market control is telling us that we are bullish by 60% in the last 24 hours. So that's also something that, that you need to look at. So I think Baby Doge is going to have some really good potential here for the short term and obviously for the long term. But right now, we're looking at what's happening immediately in Baby Doge. And then we look at the four-hour chart. You can see there is a red area kind of forming up here which is our supply and demand, less demand, which is why I drew that um, resistance line here earlier. So about 1150, like I said, is a resistance for us. We're getting rejected here at 1150. That's why we did that pullback. But now it looks like we're building that momentum to get all the way up here above 1250. And look, if we can actually get above 1250, that's going to be really nice here with Baby Doe. So we can end up getting to 1220 and then breaking past 1250 after that. So I don't know how long it's going to take, but the fifth is definitely going to be a nice pump. I think we could probably even get all the way up to 1600 when the baby doe swap comes out. But mind you, remember what just now happened to Luna Classic? They were pumping it up. They were pushing it. They were FOMOing into it, fear of missing out. They're just pushing, pushing, pushing until, you know, they got to the date of the actual Luna Classic burn, the official burn date. And nothing happened. It just went down. So you always want to keep in mind that things could happen like that. And Baby Doge, we might, you know, pump, 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 like all before the actual, you know, the actual listing of the mainnet. But then it could go down on the actual date of the mainnet. So just keep that in mind because I'm noticing right now a lot of people are really hyped about this. And Baby Doge is pumping nicely right now. But just keep in mind that it could end up pulling back when we actually get to that date. Because remember, buy the rumor, sell the news leading up to this. We already know what's going to happen on the 5th of October. So people are essentially probably going to end up trying to sell around that date. So you just want to keep that in mind. I definitely do think that Baby Doge is going to continue to pump though. But you definitely want to watch out for that. Now, Bitcoin. We talked about Bitcoin yesterday. And actually the projections that we had yesterday was actually correct. You can see over here, Bitcoin was all the way down about 18.2K. And it just started, it was rallying the whole time. So yeah, we rallied the whole time here in Bitcoin and we actually followed this whole line to a T that I drew all the way up here. And it might continue to do it. It might hit the line here where we have low activity and then it might continue to rise all the way up here until this resistance at $20,000. And then immediately after $20,000, we have another resistance line all the way up here around 20.7K. And that was actually here inside the 15 minute chart. You can actually see it a little bit better here. So yeah, we have a possibility of getting all the way up there. It's about 20.7K after we pass this one here. So you just got to wait for that. And then eventually maybe 21.2K. So that's what I'm projecting here for Bitcoin in the short term. And then after that, I am projecting a, a pullback. You know, a lot of people don't want to hear it, but I do believe Bitcoin is going to pull back after all this. So if you actually look over here for Bitcoin, we are under our green, our, our red areas of what we're under right now, which is supply and demand of less demand. So if we're under a less demand area, right, and 
I don't even I don't think we're too far but under this area, honestly. But we're like down at the 25,000 area and we're all the way down here where this resistance is about 19.5K. So we're not that far below it. And I think that we're probably about to hit this pretty quick. And when we do expect a pullback, that's just what I'm looking at here. I'm expecting a pullback. We just got interest rates raised for the Fed inside the U.S. So there's there's going to be some turmoil in the markets. There's going to be a lot of shakeups here. So I'm definitely expecting us to hit this area. And then having like a um, pullback from here. So yeah, I'm expecting some kind of pullback. And uh, yeah, that's really what I'm expecting here. Also, over here, we also see that big baby doge up like 7.8% for the day. So that's actually a lot. 7.8%. Really nice, really nice movement here. But hey, this is pretty much all I got for you all today. Also, do not forget, we're still getting new holders every single day. So it's not like baby doge is just stagnant even though it's down like a lot because even though we're up like seven percent for the day we're still down we're below 1250 and we're really close to adding on another zero if we keep going down but keep in mind that we're still adding more people into the baby doge army so when we actually become bullish we're gonna have more money flowing into baby doge because of all the different holders that are new getting in on baby doge but hey this is pretty much all i got for you all today we already know we got the big day on the october 5th so whenever october 5th happens i will definitely be keeping you all updated but anyways, this is all I got. Definitely hit the like button and subscribe. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. As always, I'll be back with another video.